Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace for Take 5. <laughs> Get yourself a cup of coffee. This is going to be a really long, long video. I'm, I've got a video I'm going to put in there along with trying to make things shorter and it ended up way longer. I ended up doing the comments on the video and then I ended up typing them out besides. So I really did double work. So get yourself a drink and or something to eat. You might even and and just relax. Or you crochet. I crochet with the long videos usually. Or you can hula hoop or you can jump rope. You can do whatever you like. And if you're in the car, this is a perfect one to listen to because it's it's mostly talking. Towards the end is the only thing I show you visually. So we'll let's go to the video. Hi everyone. We're in my computer room. What I used to have was in my dining room, which is my plant room, which is my junk room, which is a lot of rooms. But I've been thinking of doing this, and I'm finally going to do it. I had talked to Wes. I had mentioned it to Wes that I was thinking I'd like to do this. He does it with his comments. And there was another Rusty, some other Rusty that I watch. I don't remember his channel name. But he does it also. He lives in a camper, this Rusty. But I, I thought, well, I would read the comments and save myself a little time because I've been spending from like 7.30 in the morning till, oh gosh, 3.30, 4.30, 5.30, 6.30 sometimes. Just before I make the next video, I'm answering comments. And so I'm going to try to make it so that it's a little shorter. Grace Canales. That is very interesting. I've never seen it around in South Texas. I sure, it sure looked yummy. Thanks, Nona Grace. And yes, it is very yummy. Cynthia Crochet and more in May says, Wow, reminds me of asparagus. I have heard eating weeds, but now I'm seeing it cook. Have a great day. Well, Cynthia, you will see it in the, today's video. I will show it raw with asparagus so that you can see what it looks like. Lost in Bali with Sinja Albi. Oh, I never see anything like this, but it looks yummy indeed. Thank you very much. Yes, it is yummy. In fact, I put it away and I really would like to eat it. Asti Media. Yes, says, let's cook together. Yes, we should. I, cooking is such a long haul. Let me tell you, there's a lot of editing to be done. Those that you do cooking um, videos, I'm amazed. Dr. Rizwan Naz Kitchen. That looks delicious and appealing. My favorite. I'm glad you like it too. Marsha, Mush and Stuff. Said, good morning. Nona Grace and Jim, drinking my coffee. Oh, I walked 1.6 miles yesterday. Wow, Marsha, you're doing good. It was hot. Very interesting video. It's awesome because that's actually a survival idea too. Yes, if you're out in the woods. Actually, when I was camping, Marsha, I cooked some for... I was in Ohio at the time, and I cooked some while we were camping, and the people around us couldn't imagine the smell. It was absolutely delicious, and they wondered what I was cooking. And when I told them, they were the faces told all. But they tasted it and really found that they liked it. Little White House, that's Eric. It looks very good. I was thinking that the way you cooked it might make some good asparagus, too, if you don't have burdock. Well, asparagus has a whole different taste. The burdock actually tastes more like artichokes. If you like artichokes in the heart, the heart actually probably is more what it's like. The leaves, I like the leaves, too. But I like artichokes, and I like, I like the burdock. So the asparagus has a little bit different taste. Bangle, Bangkok Wales. This video is pure joy to watch, my friend. Inspiring and nice. Wish you a nice weekend. I wish you a nice weekend, too. Ruby Haros channel. She says, whoa, Sister Nona Grace? Nona G, she calls me. You look great. Thanks for sharing. Well, thank you. <laughs> Jan from New York City saves money. She says, seems familiar to me somehow. Well, folks eat dandelion. Love the cartoon voice. Well, thank you, Jan. Steve Harris says, good video, Nona Grace. Let's eat. Yes. I would like to, but I'm going to hold off a little longer. AB Kitchen Recipes and Vlogs. Nice video of your cooking, Garduni. Nice and different. Yes, it is different. In the same way, Ivy Gourd, which is classified as a weed in Hawaii, can also be eaten. Enjoy the video for 18 minutes and 58 seconds. It was very long. It was a long video. Keto Marnie. Seems like something you could easily cook in the air fryer to get it crispy. Probably after you cooked it once, you probably could put it in the air fryer, but I don't know if you could do it without um, at the beginning. It might have a different taste, too, because I think it really needs the oil that really gives it that taste that you, you get. And, then, and Life with Patty. She says, when my mom was alive and fighting her cancer, her co oh, this is on the, on the Social Security thing that I talked about in that same video. Her cancer, her copay on her cancer medicine was 1500 a month. Can you imagine? Whoa. I have never seen this weed, at least 
I don't think I have. Oh, I love artichokes. Yes, artichokes are really good. If you like artichokes, Patty, you're going to like this burdock. Jim was saying that he thinks possibly that it might be something that only grows here in the in the Northeast and maybe Canada and some of the and some of the states along here. It might not be in your area. This was very interesting. My father said that you'd learn something new every day of your life. And you learned something today. Well, thank you. I'm glad. I love it when I learn something. Brian Luce Hill Homestead. Uncle Jim is right about we need to eat more wild edibles. We all would probably be healthier. You're right, Brian. And it was so nice to meet your aunt, Patsy. She she is uh, seems like a sweet lady. And if I look, if I'm like her, then I'm a sweet lady too. Oh, Jeremy, I can't say that word out loud. It's H-E-L-L -L and then yes. With an S on the on the A T L L. I don't I don't say that. But yeah, thank you, thank you, Jeremy. This is always a two word two word comment. Jeremy Abbott music. He makes his own music. He's really very good at it. He's a, a composer and an artist in music. My Alabama farm life. Oh, Kathleen, I just love you. I will have to look for the for that next spring. Good night. Good night, Kathleen. Actually, now it's morning. But you know, it is. You have to pick it when it's young. And we used to, if by the end of May. It's starting to get too big and too tough, and it's, it's when it starts to get woody, it's not as good. So yes, in the spring. K and A family homestead. Oh wow, that's different. I can definitely watch you cook. Can't wait to see what the on the menu next. Well, I don't know what's on the menu next. Thank you for sharing. God bless Nona Grace. Well, God bless you too. I don't know what's next. I find these cooking videos very time consuming. I'm amazed at those that do them all the time. Simply Jan homestead. Oh, burdock is supposed to be so good for us. That looks delicious. Well, Jan, it is delicious. It's the best tasting stuff. In fact, when I start eating it, I could just keep eating and eating and eating. And oh my goodness, it's got a lot of fiber in it. So if you, you might find it woody if you get it too late in the season. You may want to peel it if you make it. Nancy hooked on crochet. I would have never guessed you would eat weeds. You know, I looked, it looked like asparagus without the top. Well, today I'm going to show that, that it's not. Ozark Duke. He um, gave me a comment that was not supposed to be my comment. And I says, I didn't understand what his comment was. Well, Rusty, that happens. I, I find that if the videos keep going and you're making a comment and it's done and the next one plays, your comment wants to go on that one. It makes it really hard. Diane Thurlman. Hello, Nona, Grace, and Jim. That looks interesting. I will be willing to take, you would be willing to taste it. I am not sure if I would like it or not. Oh, I bet you you'd like it. It might take a little while. It was fun watching the cooking process. Thank you for sharing. Diane, you might like it. You never know. It's a flavor that if you like artichokes, then you'll like it every day with Kimber. Well, hello. Kimber. I do have an addictive personality with food, some foods, yes. So I'm sure it would be addicted. I have heard burdock, but I've never seen it. It definitely looks like a treat I would enjoy. Yes, I think you would enjoy it. I would share it with you, but it would kill me to share it because I really like it. And it is a long, long time making it. It's, it just seems like forever. And that's why when I'm cooking it, I usually eat the first whole frying pan full. And then I finish up. And then when it's cooled, I like it. When it's been in the refrigerator is when I like it the best. Connections of Lives and Interests 2020. I sure hope you'll share your camping trip with us. Wow, it's funny to hear how much you love these. You're too cute. Well, thank you. And I don't know if we're going camping or not. Jim likes to take the motorcycle, so... We'll have to wait and see. We haven't even registered it for this year. Carrie the Yarny Elephant. Interesting. Not sure if I would just make it, though, but I would definitely try it. Carrie, you would like it. It does take a long time to make. Gloria Lagroon. Hello, Gloria. Hi, Nona Grace. The weeds look tasty. That looks easy to prepare. I'd try, to try it if I can find them. I don't know if they grow in your area. Where do you find these types of weeds besides Jim's workplace? along the roadside, behind barns. Um, my daughter has a patch that's, it's usually farmhouses, farm places have it, but it might not be in California. Like I said, it might just be in Northeast kind of weed. I don't know. Oh, she likes to be in my t-shirt, like you in that tee. You look very comfortable and casual. Thank you. It's my walk t-shirt. It was my walk t-shirt. When I went to take certified walk classes in 2013, they gave us t-shirts and this is what we wore. We all looked alike. It said, walk on. Connections of lives and interests. I never heard of this stuff before. Thank you for sharing very interesting stuff. Yes, thank you, Sharon. Well, okay, that's... Blue Bike and Doyle. <laughs> He's got nothing to say for this one. But it's, well, it's okay. Well, thank you, Doyle. Uh, Miss Bell, Southern Bell said, very good information about insurance. Yes, it's, it's important. It's too bad I didn't know this before I retired, but it's too late now. 
Goat Farming 2020. He's watching here. Wow, you made it. Yes, I did. It's very good. Miss Southern Belle. I got my drink. Looks interesting now. Laugh out loud. I see that stringing awesome preparation. Laugh out loud. That's the end of this nice stringing. You guys are fussy. Crack me up. Let me crack you up. I don't like to string it. It takes too long. If it, it takes long enough just to wash the little bit of strings off, let alone stringing, stringing it. We used to sit hours if we strung it. She reviews everything. Hey, Nona, I've never seen this before. I hope you do more cook with me. This was interesting. It looks like celery, green beans, asparagus. Thank you, Marlene. <laughs> it does have the appearance of the others, but it, tastes, it has a taste of its own. Taro Medicine Medical. Hello, my dear sister. How are you doing there? You look so fresh today. Well, thank you. Gail Southern Living. Never heard of it. Ricker Shire Projects. Challenge accepted. I got the stuff growing everywhere. Peel the stalk and you can dice up the roots. Fry, bake to taste. I didn't know that you could eat the roots, but that's interesting, but I think I will leave the roots because I'm having a hard time finding it as it is. Jules and M. Hi, Angel. I never heard this of this looks good. It is good. Simply Pam, my sweet Simply Pam. Pam, hi. I never heard of doing that, but it looks good. Looks like it's good. Yes, it is good. I just heard read hers a little wrong, but hi, Pam. Holly's Hobby House. One that most of us haven't cooked. Thanks for sharing. Now I know how it is done. A lot of people have not cooked it, even in my own family. I think I'm the only one that still cooks it, and there's, there were six kids, and we all had it. Michael, 58. Hi, Michael. That was interesting. I've never heard of it before. Looks good. Thanks for sharing. God bless. Thank you, Michael. Same to you. Elizabeth Smart. Hey, they kind of look like fried green beans. They, uh, fried green beans are really good. I don't know if you've ever had them. I flower them, and they're really, really good. Great job filming, Jim. One for the cooking show. Thank you. I, I read, anybody that says hello to Jim, I do read him the comments. He gets to read all of the comments, actually, because I, I tell him, you got to read these. And so he reads them, so we all read them, and then he reads my comments back to you. But today, he'll get to listen to my comments. Mo bang, fo yo, bucks. That's Tim. Hi. Weeds, I am there. That's a lot of work just to eat weeds. It sure is a lot of work, but boy, Tim, they are delicious. Surely real life. That kind of reminds me of asparagus, but yes, it cleans like celery. I don't think I've ever had this before. If I can find some, I may try it. Thank you for sharing. Mr. G, 1965. Hello. He's got a little comment in there. He says, thumbs up. I am with Jim. I guess you could say you're a human weed, wa weed eater. Yes, I am a human weed eater. Weed eater? Laugh out loud. I never tried that. Take care and catch you later. Yes, I guess I am a weed eater. I came up of, from a long line of weed eaters. Pamela Adoring Crochet. Say hello, Pamela. I love talking to you. You may, you make this look really tasty. It is tasty. I don't even know if I've had this kind of weed in my backyard. I don't know if you do either. I know it's in Ohio. And it's probably in Pennsylvania. It's in Canada. Parts of Canada, maybe not all of Canada. I don't know. It's in the maybe it has to be colder, a little bit colder. I don't know how cold you get there. I think you get cold there. Vicky Marie, loving life. Hello, Vicky. Hi, Nona Grace. I don't know how you could eat those. Oh, they're really easy. They remind me of asparagus. They don't taste like asparagus, so you probably would like it. I watch and you watch you cook them. I bet they are really good and that breading and nutritious too. Thanks for sharing. Yeah, the dark the only bad part about this is the flour that I put on it. Everything else was healthy. The weed itself is very healthy. It's a dark, dark green. And the coconut oil that I cooked it in is healthy too. I'm gonna mess this name up really bad. Ultra Handwala Laka Ladaka. Says cooking and cutting, excellent. Thank you. Smooth the soul music. Well done, just amazing. Thank you for sharing your fantastic upload with me. We'll definitely be coming back, I'm glad. To see you again for more great content. Wishing you an awesome day. I wish you an awesome day too. Going on a burdock hunt to show you what the, the plant looks like. This is going to be difficult. I actually found one, but this is a very small one. Can you tell which part is the burdock and which part is not? I'll show you. This leaf right here is the burdock. And there's the stalks that I was cooking yesterday. And what you do is you cut the stalk down close. You want them to cut it down here. 
and you've got your you've got your stalk. Then what I do is I cut the leaf off. That road is so noisy. I cut the leaf off and I leave the leaves here. I'll do another one so that you can see what I did. I cut way down at the base I cut then I cut the leaf off then I cut the leaf off and so you have the stalk so we've got two stalks my dad used to cut the whole plant out and you used to get these little these little young leaves here and this is the part that my mother used to love she used to fry these with egg before I go in the house I'll show you I have a little hen in the timeout spot this one the rooster for some reason does not like but she needs to be in there so that she can stop being broody he's leaving her alone now maybe he'll leave her alone after I take her out I don't know He's been really nasty to her for no reason. She's very nervous. A lot of you commented to me that it looked like asparagus, that the stalks look like the asparagus without the heads. Well, this is asparagus from the garden, and this is the burdock. I decided to add some celery to show you. This is celery. I have actually tried to do the burdock look or the food, like with with the celery, I've tried to uh, flour that and fry it, but it doesn't taste as good, it's too mild. And this is what the um, tame burdock would look like in the stores. It looks just like celery, and it, it has a real tame taste. And I don't know if a lot of you know, but you should eat these leaves of the celery. What we do is we chop them up and put them into your salads, or I like to, cook I like pasta celery I don't know if you've ever had pasta celery but it's a very good meal to have after a very heavy meal because it helps to it helps your digestion I hate to take this out because I know I'll eat some if I show you but I will show you and I will be very good and put it back away this is what it looks like after it's been in the refrigerator they're cold they're kind of stuck together, but they're, they're, you can get them apart. And they're so good, and I'm going to put it away because it's too early in the morning. I like to eat a little later if I can hold off, which I've been thinking about this all day, but I'm going to hold off. Just so you see, I am putting it away, and there's three still in there. I'm going to put it back in the fridge. Well, I hope you enjoyed seeing the burdock for day two. Thank you for all the comments, and I don't know if I will do this again. I'm, I'm really not sure. It took me a lot longer. It was a lot more work. So we'll see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.